Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our React.js tutorial. Part of this video, let me explain functions as probes. So this is the continuation of my last video. So in my last video, I just explained props and how to transfer the different data types using these props. For the same way, we can pass these functions also. For explaining this functionality, I am going to implement this delete functionality in my existing black screen. Let me show the current output. So this is my black screen. See, so just example only. Here I have these five blacks. Okay, now let me show the code also. So if you noted here, this is my main app component. Here I am having this list of data. And then I just called one component this uh, block list. Here I am just passing two props. The first one is for author and the second one is blog. So using this blog, I am passing this list of data. Then using this data in our blacklist component, I am just creating this content. Okay. So this is all about the existing video. Now we can implement our delete functionality. So after the description, I am going to add one button. Here we can write this on click functionality. Here I am going to include this callback function because we need to pass some parameter. And the parameter is our key value item.id. Okay, we have done. Let me define this function also. So our parameter is id. Okay, we have defined our function, but the problem is, so our actual data is available in our app component only, but in our blog list, we are just populating, okay? So in this case, uh, we cannot define our function here. So let me cut this one. I'm going to move this function into our app.js file. Okay, just added. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just passing this function as the props. So in this block list, after this other, I'm going to include one more prop. Here I'm going to just pass the function. Okay. Now let me go to our block list component. So here we are already getting this block and other. The same way we can get this function delete also. So this function delete we are just referring here. Okay. Now let me save it. So here I'm going to put the console.log then only we know whether we are able to get this key value. Let me save it. See for each and every block uh, we have this delete option. Let me go to the console. Okay. So if I'm deleting this one, see we are getting the ID as 5. So if I'm clicking the next one, we are getting this 4. The same way if I'm clicking the first one, I am getting this one. So that means we are able to get this ID. Then using this ID, uh, we have to implement our delete function. For that, uh, we have this change function. Using this change function, uh, we have to complete this delete functionality. First, let me remove this console.log. Here, I am going to declare one more new variable new list okay then we can access our main variable block data here I'm going to apply this filter option so item dot ID not equal to ID let me format it 
okay this is fine now we have this new list I'm going to set this new list into our main block data for that we have to use this function okay we have done now let me verify once again so initially we have this fire records so now I am trying to delete this angular okay see it's gone now I am trying to delete this SQL currently we have only three datas finally I'm deleting this react JS also see now all the blocks are gets gone so if I'm refreshing so again it will start from our uh, main function so it will load all the data so in this way we can implement this uh, delete functionality and also we can pass the functions as the props okay still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so i request to, to watch my previous video that the props so if you are watched that video you will get the better continuity i will share that video link also in the description thank you thanks for watching